So my name is Dan Lachance. I'm a neurologist uh, at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. In um, the fall of 2007, uh, with the assistance of colleagues uh, at Austin Medical Center and the Mayo Health System, we became aware of uh, nearly a dozen individuals who had developed um, an immune-related illness of the nervous system. We thought this was really quite unusual and we reported it to um, the Minnesota Department of Health when we learned that all of these individuals worked at the same place, namely a pork processing plant in Austin, Minnesota. Um, eventually, that public health investigation um, in conjunction with an organized effort to try to find, uh, to try to identify additional individuals that were affected resulted in our eventually caring for uh, 21 patients from the Austin area with a similar illness. Um, through the course of additional investigations organized by the Minnesota Department of Health and Center for Disease Control, it was determined that a similar illness had been occurring simultaneously in individuals in a, in a pork processing plant in Indiana. Um, and as it turns out, the, all of these individuals had been being exposed to um, an unusual procedure where the brains were harvested from the animals and in so doing, uh, inadvertently uh, coming into contact with aerosolization of the brain material. So uh, they'd been exposed to this material by breathing it in uh, and perhaps also exposed in their eyes and, and mouth. Um, and consequent to this exposure, uh, we determined that they developed this autoimmune neurological illness. So uh, over the last two years, we have followed these individuals and at various stages provided uh, reports, preliminary reports, on the nature of the illness uh, and some early follow-up information. To talk a little bit about the nature of this illness, I, I mentioned that it was an autoimmune um, inflammation or inflammatory disorder of the nervous system. Um, what had been happening is, or what we've determined to be happening, is um, in the process of being exposed to this foreign material, namely pig brain, um, ingested into the person's system, an immune response developed to that. There's enough similarity between pig nervous system and human nervous system that the immune response that developed in these individuals um, in some cases was sufficiently severe to damage their own nervous systems. It turns out that the areas of the nervous system most commonly affected were the peripheral nerves. Um, uh, the peripheral nerves are the nerves which arise from the spinal cord and travel to various parts of the body. It also turns out that the areas where the damage was most severe were at the components of the nerve closest to the spinal cord and the components of the nerve at the most furthest points of their course, namely the hands and feet. So many of these individuals had pain and discomforts um, along their central core, the back, the head, the neck, but also tingling, numbness, pain uh, in their hands and feet. Many of them found it uncomfortable to stand or walk for prolonged periods or go upstairs. Um, and there was a fair amount of fatigue uh, that was associated with this as well. There was never determined to be any infectious disease component to this. That is, there was no uh, virus or prion or bacteria that the individuals were exposed to uh, uh, in the workplace um, that somehow triggered this illness or caused the illness, and we're quite confident of that. There was never uh, a risk to the public health as a consequence of this outbreak. outbreak. Um, the, the, pay, the individual's illness was specifically caused by the exposure to this aerosolized brain material, something that was happening in a particular place in the processing plant. There was nothing about the pigs or any material that people consumed that would at all cause illness uh, outside of this plant, and we're very sure of that. 